Hello and welcome to the next video of my LCS Spring 2023 preview series. We're going to cover Immortals. Um, Immortals made a few moves. Actually, the majority of this team is brand new going into this season. This comes after a season where they went 9 and 27. And then at the academy level, 10, 12, and 14. So mediocre academy team. That caused a ripple effect where they took out a lot of uh, academy players as well. Um, the coach is Mabry. Mabry is 57 and 60 over their career as a coach in a major region at the highest level of play. So the uh, moves made at the LCS level. <coughs> um, a power of evil was let go. Uh, and a blaze olive was brought in. So a blaze olive comes in from uh, Golden Guardians. Uh, tactical joins, lost leaves. I don't remember. Lost went, lost went to C9 Academy. So tactical joins from TSM, and then its support flashy comes in as an import from Nasser Esports Turkey, and Ignar goes to Dignitas. So at 22.1 years old, this team is pretty fresh. Um, it's not great, but. I think if, if if certain things end up happening, it could be a top eight team, which is still not great if you're eighth place out of 10 teams. But in uh, the LCS, it gets you a, a seat at the table. In top lane, you have Revenge. At 23 years old, uh, these numbers are not great. 1-4 KDA, 8-2 CS per minute, 64-5 KP. Um, one second. Almost sneezed. Uh, 434 damage per minute. <coughs> my my apologies. So 434 damage per minute, 24 4 damage share, 22 4 gold share, 2 solo kills, 18 games played, 9 champions picked. Uh, just one second. Sorry about that. Uh, so 9 champions, 18 games, Nar, Gwen, Aatrox, Revenge. 1-4 KDA is probably the worst in top lane. Died a ton. Uh, tried to play aggressive to get some farm and, and paid the price. But uh, the team in general was not great. So it's hard to blame just one person. Um, not a good situation. They brought in ADD, Ad, to back up Revenge. At 24 years old, Ad played in Latin America. We, you might remember him from Worlds where he picked Timo top and Zillion top. Yeah, I know you remember that. 3-3 three, three KDA, 8-2 CS per minute, 62-7 KP, 629 damage per minute. That's a lot of damage for a top laner, nearly 28%. So that is like secondary carry-like. 21-3 damage share. Uh, sorry, I just said 28% damage share. 21-3 gold share, 2 solo kills, 13 games played, 9 champions picked. Nar and Orn were the only two champions he played more than once. Um... Wide champion pool, if that wasn't uh, already clear as day. Uh, I doubt he ends up taking Revenge's spot. Um, only because the other import slots do not, um, don't vibe. It doesn't work. At least from what I can see here. In the jungle, we have Kenvi. At 20 years old, hopefully their sophomore year is better than their rookie year. 1-6 KDA. 5-4 CS per minute, 77-1 KP, so over 3 out of every 4 kills. Very involved. Doesn't get behind in the jungle. Those two stats are really good, but he did die a lot. The team in general died a lot. Um, 221 damage per minute, 12-5 damage share, 18-6 gold share, 3 solo kills in 18 games, 9 champions picked, Poppy and Wukong being the only champions he played more than twice. Behind him is Chad. Uh, Chad at 21 years old was solid in Academy, uh, borderline earning himself a call up in my opinion. He did get an opportunity in spring and struggled with that opportunity. Um, I think Xerxe was the um, uh, jungler at the time. Chad put up a 2-3 KDA, 5-7 CS per minute, 62-3 KP. So I mean, when you look at it, you compare he Chad and Kenvi. Kenvi at a higher level of play was 15% more involved KP wise. Now you have to keep in mind as well, Immortals Academy a lot better than um, the LCS team. The LCS team could have been playing more, more together 
and um, had less kills in general, so it's easier to have higher KP if they're, you're not as um, uh, aggressive away from your jungler. But Chad only had 0.3 CS more and gave up 15% KP. Uh, 347 damage per minute, 14.4 damage share, 19.1 gold share, 6 solo kills and 36 games played. 10 champions picked in an interesting champion pool in summer of Rengar Viego Graves. Yeah, he played a lot of Rengar, which is definitely interesting to say the least. In mid lane, you have a Blaze Olive at 24 years old, had a 2 2 KDA, 8 6 CS per minute, 68 5 KP. Golden Guardians were not much better than Immortals. So, do you really blame him for dying a lot? Mm. The thing is, if you remember Blaze Olive and uh, his victor, he did die quite a bit in mid lane, getting caught out in the split. Um, played aggressive for the farm, paid the price. 529 damage per minute, 27.3 damage share, 22.2 gold share. Two solo kills in 16 games played, picked 10 champions. Azir was the most played. Now, after a Blaze Olive in mid lane is Balulu. Balulu is one of the best mid laners over the last several years in Turkey. Um, a very good player. Uh, age is not listed, but his numbers are absolutely outstanding from the TCL. Now, we have to keep in mind the TCL struggled internationally the last couple of years. A lot of people had nice things to say about Saren, and Saren didn't get the job done with Istanbul Wildcats. Some people want to say, well, that's not the best Turkish team. When push comes to shove, that team is the one that showed up to go to international events. So, yeah, they are the best team. But, Balulu may have been the best Turkish player. Well, not Turkish player, but best player in Turkey. He's Swedish. 11-9 um, KDA. 9-2 CS per minute, 65-5 KP. He crushed Turkey's mid laners. 713 damage per minute, 13-8 damage, I mean 32-8 damage share. That is a carry damage share. 22-7 gold share, two solo kills in 18 games, seven champions picked. Azir, Zoe, and Velkaz are the most notable. If I had to put money on something with this team, I think Belulu takes a Blaze Olive spot before the end of the split. Um, I think that's going to happen. I, I, I don't think it's a matter of if, but a matter of when. Bot lane, you have Tactical. At 22 years old, these numbers are from um, LCS Proving Grounds Academy. That's a mix of uh, academy teams and amateur teams. So keep in mind, this isn't as strong of a level as the um, academy uh, system. Uh, 2 3 KDA, 9 2 CS per minute, 59 6 KP, 626 damage per minute, 30.5 damage share, 24 4 gold share, 6 champions in 10 games played. Uh, Draven, Lucian, and Jinx. Obviously, we've seen tactical play with Team Liquid um, and TSM. Got benched by TSM for instinct. Um, tactical still has a lot of career left. He's only 22 years old, but he is showing himself as an average. Uh, bot laner, and to be honest, on a team like Immortals, with the way it is right now, if Blue Lu plays for a Blaze Olive, I may feel slightly better about Immortals. Um, but as of right now, I don't think Tactical is a hard carry to be able to actually get this team to where it needs to go. Behind him is Wixie at 20 years old. Wixie's numbers are not great either. Uh, 2 8 KDA, 6 3. CS per minute, 58 7 KP, 542 damage per minute, 26 4. Damage share, 20.3 gold share. That is extremely low for a bot laner. Uh, six champions, 10 games played. Senna, Callista, Ezreal. So um, played a lot of Senna, but at the same time, that gold share number is super, super low. Um, you see players that play a lot of Senna that don't get down to 20%. They're usually maybe high 22, low 23. And you can say, oh, well, it's relative to your team. Yeah, sure, but... His, his farm ain't great. His KP ain't great. So he's not farming. Okay, you're playing Senna bot lane. Uh, but you're not doing anything either as a support trying to create and make plays. You're a Senna. How many plays can you make? I mean, um, I think there can be uh, excuses made. But I do not think he's going to put pressure on tactical. Um, really, looking at this team, the only player really in, in, in question is a Blaze Olive for Belulu. And that's why I said I don't think ADD can take the place of Revenge because Fleshy is an import and Fleshy and Belulu are teammates, which segue into Fleshy in a second. Um, we're teammates in Turkey, so I doubt that um, 
they would take Flashy out if Belulu is playing. Speaking of Flashy, at 22 years old, at a 6'8 KDA, 71.6 KP, um, we actually have to respect that Flashy was one of the best um, uh, boot campers in Korea this past offseason. When all the NA teams went, Flashy was one of the best. I think he may have even gotten a challenger. 3.49 vision score per minute. Would clear almost two wards every three minutes, which is very high. You could tell that Nasser Turkey's bot lane were winning matchups. This guy gets vision. Nine champions in 18 games, Rakan and Lulu being the most. Joey is the backup. Joey's been around the block at 24 years old. Uh, been on quite a few teams. Uh, 3-2 KDA, 76.7 KP, 2.49 vision score per minute. Uh, roughly would clear 0 0.3, uh, well, roughly would clear one ward every three minutes, which is half as much as fleshy. 13 champions in 36 games, Renata, Yumi, Tom Kench. I do not think he's going to pressure fleshy for his job. Um, it's definitely an interesting situation because like one could, could argue ADD is better than revenge because revenge did struggle a lot last year. I understand, understand ADD wasn't great in, at Worlds, um, and ended up picking weird picks because of it. And I, I'm not saying that he's like going to dominate the LCS or something. I just think that he could be better than Revenge. But um, Belulu, I think, is so much better than a Blaze Olive. There's no... Like, bringing them both up knocks Fleshy out. It just doesn't 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 work. So, um, uh, I don't really know why... I, don't, I mean, I don't know what the order of signings were here. But uh, if I'm ADD... I mean, maybe the money was better than staying in Latin America, but um, you're not going to play. It's not going to play. So uh, I don't really, I don't know what they're going to do here. But nevertheless, comment down below with your opinions on Immortals roster. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel for daily League of Legends content. Follow me on Twitter. Join the Discord. Become a YouTube member. And thank you for watching.